hello welcome to another video on open shift in this video I want to talk about something new that is using templates to create a pod or anything in open shift and I want to tell you how to do that templates are used generally to pass parameters into the objects that are created in open shift let's see how it can be done in my previous video, I talked about how to create an image um, and build it in Travis CI and how to even push it to the image repositories like Docker Hub and how to consume it in OpenShift. So I refer to that, but let's recap on that one very quickly. Here is my application that implements Karatsuba algorithm multiply to uh, huge numbers and to start with there is a make file and it contains the rules for uh, making the image and also to push it to the image repository and this make file is invoked by Travis CI and inside the Travis CI environment I showed you how to set up these two variables docker username and docker password so that the push image rule can use them to push the image into the docker hub. So here is the Travis CI that built this, um, this uh, um, application and at the very end of it it pushed the image to the uh, image repository that is docker hub in this case and here is the docker hub and it has the image sitting over there and it can be pulled at any time to consume and i showed you how to do that in openshift directly so now let's do something different i'm going to not use the pod yaml directly to create this pod in OpenShift environment. I'm going to do it through what is called a template YAML file. So let us look at the template YAML file. It is another object in Kubernetes. And most importantly, it has the object. This looks similar to the pod YAML file that we looked at um, last time in the last video. But instead of uh, setting the name here, I converted that into a variable called pod underscore name. And that variable is defined here under the parameters section. So this is the template YAML file. And all I need to do is import this template YAML file into OpenShift. And then I need to process it. What do I mean by process it? While processing, I should pass this parameter and then Kubernetes or OpenShift under the covers will create this object the pod object with the pod name that I entered while processing it so let's see how uh, it can be done let us do it through um, CLI first and then we'll do it do the same with um, a UI So first of all, I'm going to import this YAML file into my OpenShift environment. I already have my OpenShift uh, environment initialized. So here is the same template file that we just looked and I'm going to Im import it. So it got uh, created. So if I do OC get templates, I should see uh, the result. And the parameters column shows there is one parameter and it is blank right now. So now I need to process this uh, template. And while doing that, I will pass the parameter pod name. Let me take the help of history here. <coughs> so OC 
process I want to look at the parameters just in case so here it is so it shows there is one parameter in this template so I need to pass that in so let me do that process this is the template name and here is the parameter pod name I can key in anything I want my part or or in anything because that is the purpose of this work I can pass anything as a pod name and that name will be used while creating this part so let me do that it gives me the the definition the pod definition YAML in the output so let me do it again but this time let me save it in a file called a.yaml and then I'm going to do the same OC apply minus of a.yaml so now the pod got created let me look at reports there it is the my pod got created the name my pod came from the parameter of the of the template so let me let me give you some more information let me look at the OC get templates so there is a template when the template was processed you saw the pod got created right along with it a parent of the pod also got created called template instance So now let's uh, look at the application. We'll see get parts, and I see the pod running. As we did in the previous video, let us look at the logs of this um, pod, and you can see the result of the Karatsuba algorithm, and it is still running. Now let us do the same with um, UI. So let's see how it can be done before that let me clean up everything so the pod should get cleared up I'm also going to remove the template I should have probably deleted the template first and then that should have create deleted the pod automatically anyway so let's wait for the pod to go away The pod got deleted and I also deleted the template is also gone now let's go to the UI and to do the exactly the same thing for this let me try to create the template using CLI template got created now let me switch over to the UI I'm going to go to the developer section and going to go to the add and from catalog if I search for Karatsuba there it is so this is the template that I just imported into the uh, open shift environment using CLI and I can do it with UI as well so now when I click on it it is asking me to instantiate the template and then it is asking for the pod name so this is the only parameter in the template so it is asking me for that information so I just entered three that pod as the name of the pod and when I click create the pod will be created a template instance will also be created in this case so this is equivalent to running the OC process method using CLI so let me click on create and there it is the object got created now let me switch over to the administrator view go to workloads 
and parts I should see the part here let's wait for that to show up here here it is the part got created so let me click on it and go to the logs and I should see the same output that we saw on the CLI so now this is how you can use a template approach to create Kubernetes or OpenShift objects. So here in this example, I have only one parameter and that parameter was used to create the pod by setting its name. And similarly, you can use the parameters to set anything on the right hand side of these YAML entries. And you can create as many objects as possible in the template. For example, you can create a config map, you can create a storage class if you are interested in the storage aspect of uh, OpenShift. Stateful sets, daemon sets, deployment, deployment configuration, build configuration, anything. Anything can be created in this template, using this template, by filling the parameters during runtime while you you are processing the template. So this is very helpful if you are doing uh, a general purpose application. The inputs for them will come at a later time during runtime. So this is how you can deliver your application running on OpenShift or Kubernetes to customers and customers can pass in or fill in the information only they know and you as a developer do not know that yet. So hope you enjoyed this um, video and I'll be making more videos on OpenShift and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.